All right, blessings, everyone. Okay. Well, we got to get started on this. Um, I had a, issues for the last, uh, I would say, three to four days, maybe a week, actually. And I wasn't really understanding what was happening. And what the bottom line is, the, the, the issues that I had, not being able to watch videos because they would be freezing on me or not be able to get in or out of YouTube once I was in, thinking that the video would play and then I wasn't able to get back out. It completely, I was frozen, so I had to, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I, I noticed that I realized that I was using HD video, YouTube, and it was HD videos that I was uploading and this is discontinued, so. I found that out, but it wasn't that I was, you know, lacking in any kind of communication about what was going on. It was just, uh, you know, it was within me because this is what I was doing and this is, I was watching HD YouTube. Okay, so that, that settles that. All right. Um, now, as far as this whole thing with this man, you know, the jump and all that and what he talks about here today does not concern me at all. I just want to make that clear. Um, what I'm, I'm very concerned about here with this man is his testimony. And I keep going back to his testimony. And I've done this in the past where I needed to compare the, the testimony, his and mine. And this is from the beginning with me concerning this man. This wasn't like an overnight thing. This was, he's, he was put before me. So here is a video that he just did before his jump. And uh, I just want you to hear what he says here um, about Mary in his own words. And then I'm going to take you to another video and then, we're, you know, it'll be a lot better. Sound will be better. But the volume and everything that's messing up is on his part. It's not me. Um, it's his video, so if you go to his video and watch this, you you know, um, but I would suggest earphones or, but to really pay attention to what it is he's actually saying, what is coming out of his mouth is where I'm going with this, okay, before I go any further. So here we go. This is what he says here in his testimony, in his own words, okay. Okay, so he says that Mary is death, okay? And here in Luke 1, 25, or 26, sorry. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. That doesn't sound like death to me. So you can see how he has taken this and he has turned it upside down in believing, having you believe that Mary represents death. Now, here is where um, the death part of all of this, this to me, when I looked at this and I read the, the, how 
Jesus would have been conceived here by the angel saying to, to Mary and explaining to her. Um, and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that the holy thing which thou shalt be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Okay, And we all know that Mary gives birth to Jesus, the Son of God, truth, life, and the way. Where it was Eve who gave birth to the death, giving birth to Cain, who was the first one to take death or to kill and take life. And that was Abel. Abel was loved here. Abel was righteous. And this righteousness comes from God. And Cain, when it says here in 1 John 3, 12, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him, he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Again, like I say, God is of the righteousness, and Cain was of that wicked one. So for me, when I looked and I read this, I made the connection and I thought right away, well, it was Eve is who this man is talking about in the alleyway, not Mary. Mary gave birth to truth, life, the way, our Savior, the Son of God. That's what Mary did. So then he tells you that you will blaspheme, you, you're, being, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit um, when you come against him and do not believe in what it is that he is preaching. And I found that just absolutely amazing coming from this man because he's the one that, I mean, in all the years that I've been on YouTube, he's the only one that I can really say that blasphemed the Holy Spirit when he speaks of the fruit you see, because people, when they go to the garden, they think the apple. Well, no, fruit is also life, okay? And as here, when he blasphemes, okay, the, the, the Virgin Mary, and the, uh, blasphemes the Holy Spirit, sorry. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the solution of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spank out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Fruit of thy womb. Giving birth to truth. To our Lord, to our, our King, our Savior. And he's telling you now that in the alleyway, that she was to be turned upside down and that she represents death, that she's death. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which he had preached unto you, let him be accursed. And this is exactly what happened in the alleyway. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Second Corinthians 11, 3 and 4. But I fear least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through this subtlety, sub, subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which we have not accepted, ye might bear with him. So you see, this man is in scripture. He is the man that is accursed because of what he had received 
and had taken in in the alley. It was dark. It was deception. And it was the gospel of things turned upside down, which is death. And he's trying to take away the conception of Jesus, who is the truth, the way, and the life. And it was Eve who gave birth to Cain, who was the first to take life, to kill what was of God's. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked one. That's First John 3, 12. Now, blood is very important here, and um, it's been brought up, you know, it's not just within spirit, but blood. So when you hear God say to Cain, I'm going to find it here. And he said, what had thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. So we're talking about blood. Now, here, you're going to hear him say that the form of Adam was not as, as important because God was working somewhere else outside of creating man. So hear this out. Here we go. Just think about that. What was the last image the Lord God showed me? Come on. I had it all set up. Adam in the garden, the Lord God used me to solve the mystery of Adam and Eve. And Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, and this whole mystery. Just think about that. What was the last image the Lord God showed me? Um, and it's not, it's, not that, it's not the formation of Adam that the Lord God formed. It's Elohim mocking us. Elohim mocking us. Because that, it's not the formation of Adam that the Lord God formed. It's Elohim mocking us mocking us because when I show you what that image is again today your jaw will come completely off your face <laughs> okay okay so he tells you right there that this whole thing with Adam is nothing but a joke and not to to pay attention to any of that okay because it's all about looking the other way so again I wanted to bring that to your attention so again, it's First John 3.12 that really, you know, sealed it for me that Eve was the one that gave birth to death, which was Cain, the firstborn. And um, what he does here in the alley with this angel and receiving another spirit and mocking and, and just trying to turn things upside down concerning the truth when it comes to Mary, who gave birth to Jesus the Son of God, life, truth, and the way.